equipment that you need to apply gallows traction to a child in a cot. Two poles with brackets to attach to the cot, two sets of traction kits, some tape and some scissors. Cot set up. Place the bracket around the end of the cot. Extra tape has been applied at the end because it doesn't quite fit properly. When we get our dedicated gallows cot, we won't have this problem. But for now, make sure it's good and strongly tightly done up so that when the child is hanging, they do not fall. And then the other goes on the other side. Poles have been covered with waterproof tape so that it is um, identifiable as what we use for gun extraction. How to prepare a child to go into gallows traction? Your patient would be under 12 kilos if they were to go into gallows traction, and you would need to ensure that they were adequately analgesed before the procedure. For example, pain dose of paracetamol, ibuprofen and oromorph to be given at least half an hour before the procedure and some diazepam for spasms. Children with fractured femurs get lots of muscle spasms, and especially when you're putting on the traction. Once child's comfortable, parents are aware of what's about to happen, um, we can then begin the procedure. So we examine the legs to make sure there is, they're clean and the skin's all intact. And ensure that you've removed any clothing so that you can get to all of the skin to apply the traction bandages. Applying the traction, you have the non-adhesive traction straps with a little foot bit and at the back bottom we have the strings which we tie around the poles. With somebody supporting the baby's leg, place the foot bit around the foot. You may find that you need to remove some of the extra padding if you don't need it all, and supporting it around the foot. There, you could use adhesive traction. Sometimes that's helpful in gallows. You could just hold there for me, that's it. And then you run the traction as high up the leg as you can, and then trim up by the nappy area. The excess off. You can get smaller sets of gallows tra of traction for gallows. This is a child set. So once you've holding that on there nicely, you get your traction bandage. Traction bandages are useful because they've got some stretch in them. They show a line in the middle of the bandage, which helps you gauge where to do your overlap. So going starting around the ankle. Just above the ankle, we do our first wrap round. And this is the only place where we do a double, a double wrap, making sure there are no creases in the bandage. We can do a double wrap around that first wrap. And give it a little pull so that you've got some tightness so that will hold and then get um, a colleague to support the ankle. And keeping a not too tight, but a fairly firm grip, you're gonna take the bandage up the leg along that yellow line 50-50. So this reduces the amount of pressure to the skin, which reduces the marking and helps condition of the skin. When we come around the back of the knee, we leave a gap 
so not to put pressure on the main arteries that run down the back of the knee. And then we carry on up as high as we can, 50-50, supporting the leg, so not to cause any pain. When we get to the top of the leg, we simply trim the bandage And if you've got an extra pair of hands to hold there, sometimes mum, you can use sleek tape or elastoplast. Because they're nice and strong to tape it on. Like so. And once your bandage is secured, you can, we need to bring the child further down because it's too close up the bed. So if we lift him down, then we can lift up his leg and hang through the poles. So you take one string either side and you can go round one way and then when you get down here, we're going to do the double hitch knot. And through. Oops, that's not the double hitch knot. The round and round and through. Once both legs have the traction on them, Starting with the broken leg, with your colleague supporting the leg, you can tie the strings to the pole, ensure you've got equal lengths either side. So you're going to bring your strings one either side of the pole and cross them over and come back down on yourself. So we're going to get some tension, we need to make sure that the child's bottom is just off the edge of the bed so that it's not rubbing on the edge of the bed. And then we cross the strings over and round. And we can tie the knots, which is a clove hitch, going once round, wrap round, round again, and then bring the end back through the middle hole and pull it up. And that's a nice tight knot that cannot slip. And if you're like me and you like to extra bit of safety, we do one more time. So we go round and round and take it through the hole and pull. And you've got a nice strong knot that's not going anywhere. Then I would probably maybe just do one more knot just to be just a single knot just to hold those strings in. You can then trim off the knot, the strings with a pair of scissors um, and you can put some tape around it if you think it's going to be fiddled with by the child. And then you would do the same on the other leg. I won't cut that off right now. I'll show you with the other leg. We're just going to pop this leg up. So this is the broken, this one is the non-broken leg, but we always hang both legs up on a tub with gallows. And they actually quite enjoy it swinging around when they are feeling less pain. So straight over and down. Through and twist. And then we're going to do the, the hitch again. And through the hole. And knot. And one more time. Over and over. And through and knot. And then we've got your knots are nice and strong, your legs need to be equal, and you just do one more check, it's the bottom, free from the bed. So we now can get to the nappy area, and the child will swing, and now you can let go, and the child will be lovely and comfortable in their traction. Ongoing care of your child in gallows traction. 
After the gallows traction has been applied five minutes afterwards, we need to check that the toes are still nice and warm and pink and that they've got full sensation. So we would feel along the base of the foot, each of the toes individually, making sure the child can wiggle their toes. If they're fast asleep, you can passively move their toes, make sure they can wiggle them and that they, they move when you touch them. We need to feel for the pedal pulse on the base of the foot. Make sure that the bandages are secured and taped and the knots are nice and tightly tied. After a little while, the children will be wiggling around and you will find that the bandages will get messy. Um, they may start coming off. Um, you need to double check that the skin in everything is in good condition. If the knots slip or the bottom's touching the bottom of the bed or the bandages are coming loose, you need to be changing them straight away. Otherwise, it's something you can do once a day where you come in and see your patient and manage the cares of their traction. So what we do is we give them pain relief before we take the bandages down, make sure they're comfortable and the parent and child are aware of what's going to happen. Then with another person present, you would ask your colleague to support the limb. If you'd like to support the limb, please, thank you. You would remove the tape. And if you're using non-adhesive traction, you have to be really careful that it doesn't all slip off when you start to unbandage. So a really good, tight, supportive hold. Maybe you use play team to, to um, distract the child and keep them occupied, occupied while you remove the bandages. Once you are free of the bandage, you keep it held in the traction set and at this point we can inspect the skin. So we can see if there's any redness or any marking on the skin, any sore areas. Applying the traction at all times so the child doesn't feel pain. You can at this point put some moisturizing cream on or wash the leg and then moisturize. And then once you've done that, get a new bandage, not, not an old bandage um, because of the you want a clean one. Here's one. Perfect, thank you very much. Get a nice clean new bandage and re-bandage as before. Again, so we can make sure the foot's in the right position in the traction. Let me go around twice. And this shouldn't be a painful procedure. That can be a bit scary the first time that you do it for the child because they're worried it's going to hurt. So we make sure they've had full pain relief. And then we get nice tidy, nice tidy bandages again. Remember your 50-50 and missing the back of the knee because of that main artery there. Lovely. Then remember when you get to the groin, we don't keep wrapping round and round, we actually cut the bandage off and tape so that you don't overpressure the skin. Like so. It's important to get parents to keep an eye on the bandages and if they're worried that they're becoming loose, to come and tell you, that, see that you can come and do some cares. Some children, once they're starting to get better, wiggle around lots. So we might find we're doing them several times a day. Nappy cares. For the privacy and dignity of our mannequin, we have left him in his shorts. But if this was your patient, they would be wearing a nappy and you wouldn't put clothes on the bottom half because you can't get them on and off because of the traction. So you would just have a nappy on. When it's time for the nappy to be changed, initially parents might need you to soup to assist them just because of extra anxieties around the broken leg. But after a little while, mum or dad will be quite happy to change a nappy. You can get to the nappy. You've got your bottom free from the bed. So you can take your nappy off, manage your nappy cares, inspect um, the bandages, make sure there's no soiling on them. Um, the, the, you can check the bottom area for any pressure areas as well at this point then pop the clean nappy on and you're ready to go also bear in mind with children in nappies um, 
and when they're in traction they're not moving around as much as normal they may not be eating as much as normal not on the normal diet they may get constipated so often children in traction will need some laxatives to um, keep their, them opening their bowels daily.